Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Wolf Quest Brothers Bond with Teo and Sundance and his beautiful family that's now coming out to greet him and say hello. Although I do think that we have had two sleeps the last time, so uh, I think the pups really need to go back in, but we might play with them for a second just to check up on them. It's been a whole week since we've seen Teo and his family. Hi, Cohen and Elwood, Dahlia and Talon. I know that is not all of our pups. Nobody is sick right now, which is excellent. Unfortunately, though, Sundance is an elder wolf, and so we are watching with bated breath every time we sleep to see if we get the message that we are going to lose her. The pups got a little bit of play, but Sundance and Teo have something very important they need to do, and that is hunting. They have no carcasses left. If they don't hunt, they won't be able to feed the pups, so it is time for them to go. And even though, yes, they have Mikhail and Kirby to help them in our imagination, they still want to hunt for themselves. They have a responsibility to do that as parents. And even though, yes, they're all working together, they've come to an agreement that food is on your own. This is still a survival game. And even though our family is together, they still need to survive. Now, before we get too far on this hunt, I do need to roll for today's difficulty, so we're going to do that real quick. Good news is I rolled a two, so we can transition to challenging today and have a little bit easier of a time with a hunt. Now, if only Teo could find the scent of elk, that would be great. Deer are just not an option right now. We have to remember that with Sundance being an elder wolf, she has all negative one stats, so she can't help us as much as she used to. She's slower, she's not as strong, and we have to pick up for what she is lacking. And we have our own abilities and disabilities with our stats right now. Oh shoot, I went too far. Oh dear. Okay. This is not good. Um, I had no intention of fighting wolves, but they did attack Sundance, so... That's a problem. No! No! Ow, 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 ow! Hey, calm down. Stop. Woo! Okay. That was not expected. Um, I will say that Teo does not really get a point, so he's not really going to bother taking this hex. But he did kind of show his strength a little bit. So perhaps any wolf that thinks that he's not strong enough to take care of himself or his family, he just showed that he can. But he isn't going to take this hex. He believes it would send the wrong message. He's going to let it go. After all, he kind of tripped over the border on accident and they were right there. So if anything, he was in the wrong, but he still took the opportunity to show his strength and saying, you can't you can't bully me. Like, I will show you mercy, but you can't bully me. There is just not any prey sense. This is honestly a bit tragic. I only smell predators for some reason. We may have to turn around and just hope that we run across something because the scent is only giving away mule deer and that's just not an option for us right now. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. We just need to get them to run. I got a hold of a spike elk that fell. I don't know if this is a good idea to get, but spike elks do feed you longer than the cow elks do, so maybe they should just try it. Oh, we got them to stop for a moment. That's great because it allows for our stamina to catch back up, and I think Sundance was having a really hard time keeping up. I noticed that she kind of disappeared in the middle of that fight. Oh, there she goes, going through the throat. No, don't you dare hurt her. Got him in the throat. Yes, we're bringing him down. We're bringing him down. <gasps> Sundance got the final hit. Let's go. See, she still got it. Doesn't matter how old she is. I just realized I did something on accident. Uh... <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna use my mistake to tell a story. Our flaw is that we couldn't take Sundance with us because Teo wants to protect her. 
But there's been quite a few episodes, these last couple episodes, I should say, that I started to believe that Teo would regret not spending time with her. And even though I accidentally broke the flaw, which does suck, it does mean that he won't get as many points. In some ways, I think that he needed this. He is going to hurt and grieve and be devastated by the loss of Sundance. But it would be far worse if he truly did not take the chance to occasionally spend time with her. Whether it was hunting with her, praying with her, just enjoying her presence and being in the beauty that is Yellowstone. It would make it so much worse. And so moments like these, these last moments that they'll really get together, he can remember these moments when he misses her, when she's gone. Where together they took down a spike elk to feed the pups, which they need to get back to. The territory that they strengthened together, those are all things that he needs to cope. Because one day he won't be able to hold her anymore. He won't be able to snuggle with her. She won't be there to guide him and help him through all of his insecurities and doubts. But these moments he'll still have. Hello, pups! It is time for you to eat! There you go, little ones. So now that we are back at the den, I think we are overdue for a weight check on these babies. So right now, Cohen is 11.8 pounds. Stella is enormous at 13.1 pounds. We've got some big girls in this litter. Dahlia is 12.5. Talon is 11.9. Elwood is 10.8. Elwood's our little runt baby. And Tangle is 12.7. So our pups are growing pretty steadily other than our little runt Elwood, but we're getting closer to the time where we can actually go and get Easter eggs. Haha, -ha, for any of you that know that, that reference. But yes, it's about time to get baby ungulates in the grass. I'm kind of hoping a couple sleeps from now we'll be able to do that. And now it is time to sleep. The babies have been fed. We're having dreams right now. They all look really positive for the most part. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Everybody in the den. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Goodness. Okay, where are they coming from? There they are. Why are you here? Crevice Lake, of course! No. This is not good. So it's possible that the attack the other day may have enraged Crevice Lake and they have come to take revenge. Go Sundance, go! Sundance has got the upper hand finally. I'm really proud of her. Go on, go on. Good, it looks like Sundance was able to take care of her own wolf. Oh, Cohen, I didn't tell you you could come out yet. What are you thinking? It's not safe, love. Well, Teo has certainly learned his lesson. In some ways, he did want to let Crevice Lake know that he could hold his own and take care of himself and not to mess with him and his family, but that ended up being a mistake. Now that he did that, Crevice Lake took that as a challenge, unfortunately, and I can't really blame them. Teo did slip over their territory, and instead of speaking the ways like he usually does, he panicked when they attacked Sundance, which is understandable. He wanted to protect her. But now they're mad and he may have lost some of his gains with them as far as their relationship goes because of what he did. And so he's kind of pondering his actions and wondering if there's a way he can make up for it. For now, he's going to tell the pups to go back in the den just for a moment and he's going to take Sundance with him so they can have some breakfast. They honestly are still tired from the other day having to search as long as they did for a hunt. So they'll need more sleep. 
The territory is going to take a bit of a hit. But he does need to make sure they eat. And he didn't have quite enough food to feed all of the pups. Now back at the carcass while our couple feeds. They're going to discuss that Teo should probably strengthen territory if not take some. And even though Teo enjoyed so much having hunted with Sundance the other day, he's going to go back a little bit and tell her afterwards that she needs to go back home. She loves being with him and him with her, but after that attack from Crevice Lake, he's starting to see why he hasn't been taking her. And he misses it. He loved that moment they had. But now the responsibility of protecting the pups, and not just his pups, but Mikhail's pups as well, they need to do this. So Teo's going to tell Sundance to go home and love on the pups for him. And he's going to try and take a couple hexes while he has the chance. He still needs to take five today before we end the episode. Teo is taking a huge risk right now. This hex is 86% and he can smell the markings very freshly. He is concerned that the wolves that attack could find him, but he really needs to take this hex. All right, he's gonna try and growl. Oof. He can't fight. If he fights this wolf, it's a problem. All right, he's just gonna have to leave. He doesn't wanna fight them. He already saw what that did, and so he's just gonna leave if he can. Interesting. It looks like the wolf ended up deciding not to fight him. Maybe, perhaps, while that was going on, Teo was trying to talk to them, saying, Listen, I made a mistake. Listen to me. And after a bit, the wolf decided, You're not worth my time. I don't know that they listened, though, because they walked away so quickly. Before he gets too tired, he is going to try and take the hex next door. Hopefully, this will count without a wolf attacking. We didn't attack that wolf, so that hex still counted, but it was pretty close. We did have to escape its clutches, but we didn't fight it. These elk are standing right over the hex. No! <laughs> no! This is a problem! <laughs> this is fine. I can take this hex from here, jerks. Now that Teo has done that, he is exhausted. The affinity is fairly high, so he is going to actually nap out in the field just to get some rest so he can continue his goal. He doesn't like sleeping away from his family, especially Sundance, but he's pretty exhausted. We're going to let him sleep and continue in the morning or night. It'll probably be night, actually. Teo is heading back to the den right now and he can hear Sundance's call and the pups are calling with her. He's bringing back a small morsel for her to feast upon. Hopefully she enjoys it and he has got plenty of food in his belly to feed the pups. It is still not quite time to find baby ungulates yet. I do think that Elwood is holding them up just a little bit, but the other pups are starting to grow anxious. Like the food that Teo and Sundance regurgitate is just not enough. It's getting close to time. But many of the elk have not given birth just yet. And so the pups will just have to wait. It's another beautiful day. Teo knows that he has much to do today. And so he's feeding the pups. Sundance still hasn't eaten that rabbit, so maybe she found food in other places, but all the pups are still very hungry. Like I said, they're getting restless. We're getting close to time. It looks like we're really just waiting on little Elwood to get to 13 or 14 pounds, but they're so close. They're doing so well, y'all. I can't believe we've made it this far. I feel so blessed that Sundance is still with us. I Every time I sleep, I have a miniature heart attack. It's time for dad to go off to work. <laughs> That's essentially what's happening here. 
<laughs> Sundance has become a stay-at-home mom for the most part. Occasionally helps with the grocery shopping. <laughs> but dad goes off to work every day. <laughs> Oh, and it's a good thing, too, because those couple of sleeps, our territory, especially to the south, has taken a huge hit. So Teo's going to head that way, seeing as it needs the most strengthening. And hopefully he can finish today's goal with getting three hexes from Junction Butte. Who are these wolves? Ah, oh, the slip and slide males. I like to imagine that Teo does actually talk to some of the dispersals to try and get them to turn in hopes that when they make a pack or join a pack or whatever happens that they have those beliefs when they join. Kind of like a way to spread. I think he probably favors dispersals in that way because they don't really have a territory to protect so they're not as likely to fight, but they're more likely to listen. It'd be interesting if we ever wanted to start a new pack um, that had the same belief as Teo. Could be a dispersal that believes in what Teo has taught him or her, but having a completely different pack because I actually do, believe it or not, see not an end to the Snagglefang pack, but a place where we can end their story. They would continue, but I see it in the future and I think that's okay. I think at first I was really scared to have an ending to the Snagglefang pack because I love them. They started with Kiva. <laughs> but if, if we continue the Snagglefang pack, that is totally fine with me as well. I love them so much but I could still see us getting into another pack and having a different story for them as well. Could be fun, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking, I'm just talking. <laughs> and we just took the last hex that we needed for today's goal, which is great. I was a little worried in the beginning we weren't going to, but there were a couple hexes from Junction Butte that were really low and so they take no time. It was kind of cool to come all the way down here to the corner of the map as well because I don't really get to spend much time down here. Eventually it would be cool to do like an all map takeover and I need to find the camp sign. I think that's the only thing I haven't found in Slough Creek. I found all of the items but I haven't found the camp sign. <laughs> Hi bear! He kind of looks super majestic across the river right there, I'm not gonna lie. Teo really loves annoying coyotes. He absolutely took that rabbit. So the coyotes didn't get the rabbit. Ooh, the fogs have come in. Time to head back to the den. Did I say fogs? <laughs> oh, oh, well, it's actually snow. Even better. Hello, pups. Dad has got a little bit of food for y'all. Oh, and Sundance was in the den. She must have been snuggling with Dahlia. It is a bit cold out here, even though wolves can handle the cold. I'm sure the den gives a little bit of extra insulation if they need to stay warm. Did y'all eat that up already? Here, have some more. Aw, these pups are just growing so fast. I don't want this ear to end. <laughs> Although, I hope this year ends with Sundance still with us. We will need to nap one more time and see if hopefully we get the message so next time we can start getting the baby ungulates to feed our pups so that they can grow even bigger and stronger. And there's the message! That's what I was waiting for! Excellent! And that is what we will do next time. Time to put the pups in the den because I'm not about to have a coyote attack while I'm doing an outro because we know what happens when we do that! Yep. Looks at Teo. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, next time's going to be a lot of fun because we're finally going to be able to hunt the ungulates and get our babies grown up to 20 pounds. If Sundance lasts another year, y'all, that means one more year of pups after this one. So just keep crossing your fingers and praying in the comments and hoping for the best because I would love to have more pups with Sundance. And if we can just manage to keep her alive, that would be amazing. Ah. Oh. All right, I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, tickle and poke that like button, subscribe to join our family if you haven't already, and jingle that bell so you're notified of when I post videos. 
Also, feel free to join Discord or Twitch. All of that is in the description below. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week for more of Brothers Bond with Teo. Bye!